Welcome everybody once again to the Commerce World's Strongest Man. Oh, I'm in the Chobe National Park in northeast Botswana, venue of course, for this year's competition. And what a place it is. Giraffe over there, one or two Impala you can probably pick out. Basically, they've got game. Which of our competitors though, from heat three of this year's competition, can say the same? They are a mammoth bunch, almost as tall as those ladies over there. And biggest of them all is this fellow. Hathor Julius Bjornsson. The giant from the land of fire and ice, where the forces of nature collide head-on with the forces of man. Within this epic Icelandic landscape, generations of strongmen have been born, such as John Paul Sigmundsson and Magnus Vermagnusson, legends of this event. Both are four-time champions. The man they call the mountain now follows, eager to step out of their shadow and spearhead a new era for the sport. He has been on the podium four times, but unlike his predecessors, Bjornsson has never worn a crown. The mountain will not rest until he has added his name to the list of Icelandic legends. The mountain looking impressive, but who else is in peak form? Let's meet all of the king size lineup here in Botswana for Heat 3. Calm Wolf, New Zealand. Konstantin Janashia, Georgia. After Jules Persson, Iceland. <laughs> Derek Devon, United States. Only Hansom, Sweden. Terry Hollands, Great Britain. Well, joining us here this year in sunny Kasani is another man from the land of ice, Magnus Ver Magnusson, Iceland's greatest strongman ever. Magnus, walk with me a little bit as we discuss this group of giants. They're all about six foot seven, mighty beer moths, these guys, none bigger than Hapthor Bjornsson, who you discovered. How did that come about? Well, I was training in this gym and I saw this huge guy and I approached him and asked him if he would come and try this sport out. Strong man? Strong man. Mm -hmm. What was he doing and before then? Basketball. Huh. <laughs> and he comes along and he's never turned back. He certainly hasn't, but he's one of the favourites, if not the favourite, certainly for this heat. How much, though, is his other career, his film career, working in Game of Thrones? He's got a major role in that. He's just done a film with Jean-Claude Van Damme as well. How much has that affected his preparations for this year's competition? Well, he's been really, really busy, and we're hoping that uh, that hasn't, you know, given him too much problems with his preparation for World's Strongest Man. Maybe a ray of hope, though, for his rivals, including among them Terry Hollands, who was doing your job last year, but has come back now from a year of retirement to be a strong man again. How rusty do you think he'll be? He's very experienced. He should be okay. Okay. If you came out of retirement, Magnus, where would you finish? On the top, of course. No doubt. All right, let's get on with event one then the loading race. And some big geezers are waiting at the hot springs where the atmosphere is building nicely. Bringing us the action, Colin Bryce, and first up, Mr. Danny Wallace. Thank you, James. So here it is, the loading race. 75 seconds to take three barrels of 130 kg each across 14 meters. Wolf will be taking this on. Representing Georgia, Konstantin Janashia from Georgia. Really is a group of giants, this. After the United States of America. And Derek Devon, a debutant in this competition, all the way from America. Okay, guys! Ready! And they're off. So, 14 metres, they've got to carry this, get it up onto the platform. They must be on the platform and their hands off before the time stops. And it must feel almost a lifetime ago that Derek Devon, closest to camera there, was almost in the MLB as a pitcher. Now at 38 in a World Championships of Strongman. Janashia slightly slower than the other two. His technique, not getting it up high. That's what you have to do with these barrels. Well, look at that, just bear hugging it there. All of these men so big. This is the group of giants. They're all around 6'6 six, six or even above. Very thin ridges on these barrels. Very slippy metal. Janashia making his second. 
So Wolf. Ah. I was going to say. Clear run for Wolf, but not so. Because Devon now creep it up. The big farm boy from Indiana is going to finish this off. 75 seconds is the time limit. Hands off, he's done it. Wolf's given up. So too, Janashia. Time's out anyway. So Devon manages all three barrels in just under one minute and nine seconds. And the other guy's failing to complete. So who is next? Please welcome well, from Sweden, Sweden, Johnny, Johnny Hansen. Hansen. First time in this competition. Can't say the same of the next Great guy, Terry Britain. Hollands. Terry if he gets Holland. through to the grand finals, it will be the 10th consecutive Iceland. career Hafthor appearance. Bjornsson. Bjornsson from Iceland, a crowd favourite almost everywhere he goes. And that is a record already for Terry Hollands, isn't it? Absolutely, nine consecutive grand finals, going for number 10. I just wonder how much the the weight of expectation is on the shoulders of Bjornsson being Icelandic and that's just an incredible record at World's Strongest Man right, right now he looks relaxed though <laughs> yeah look at the speed of him the height helping getting that barrel up nice and high very thin ridges on these barrels very slippy metal he's celebrating already not even picked the third one up Holland struggling Hansen overtaking him. This is tremendous by Bjornsson. There's your win. Hands off and he's done it. Sauntering back. And Hansen has a grip on his barrel. Hollands. I mean, really struggling with his technique. He's sort of waddling it over. He just doesn't quite have the fitness. Maybe a little bit ring rusty. Oh, posing now by Big Thor. Who's going to take this one? Hansen or Hollands? Hansen having a little bit of trouble. Hollands dropping it. Is he going to pick it up? Is he going to give it a go? A couple of seconds left. And we're out. Wow, disappointing for Terry Hollands. Yeah, I mean, disappointing for him. Fourth place. Hansen, third place. Uh, only one place for this man. And he seems very appreciative of it. So first blood in this group of giants goes to Hafthor, 26 seconds faster than his nearest rival. Terry Holland's comeback is off to a slow start down in fourth place, but there are plenty of events left. And coming up, it's a task that may suit the big Brit a little better. The mighty, the massive Fingal's Fingers are next on Commerce, World's Strongest Man. Welcome back everyone to Commerce World's Strongest Man and it's top banana here in Botswana really. They've closed off the main highway into Kasani for us very kindly so we can stage event two of heat three. Magnus, it is the Fingal's Fingers. There's five of these fellows to flip over easy. They weigh up to 175 kilos. It's an event this for the big men and we've got a heat full of them. Well, the trick here is to be quick in picking up and fast hand and move as fast as you can through all of them. All right, fast but not too fast with the hands. Well, you don't want to slip. Right, all right, I love your motion there. You're itching to get back on these, I know, you? I know, I want to do it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, let's get back to heat three. Thanks very much, so Fingal's fingers, 60 seconds to raise these fingers and flip them, as Magnus said. An event that really favors the taller athlete Thankfully, got some of the tallest people around. Wolf managed four fingers in 45-27. Janashia, a little quicker, 39-64. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Sweden, Johnny Hansen. So, talking of the tall, one of the tallest athletes in the competition next, Johnny Hansen. Representing Great Britain, Terry Holland! I think that's Holland's. Almost the same height. So it's about momentum. You've got to get that Fingal's finger up fast. Keep those hands moving. Very impressive from Hansen. Really driving into it, using straight arms. Getting all of his body weight and his big powerful legs into it. 
Collins a little bit slower in the pickup. I think he slipped on the first one a bit. Trying to play catch up now. Under the fourth already, Hansen. Very few people managed to get all five flipped over. Well, we've had one heat of men do this so far. Of course, it was the Swede Johannes R show. That's right. A Swedish thing, the Fingles Fingers. He did all five. But you're right, it's a, it's a rarity. And is Terry Holland even going to try it? Hansen, though. Well, here we go. Crucial moment. Just got to keep going. Nails it. Oh, what of Hollands? No. Not happy with that at all. Managed four in with just under 41 seconds. A time of 50.52 seconds from Sweden, Johnny Hansen! But Hansen storms that event. This was the battle right at the end. It almost stalled, but he wasn't giving that one up. No way. So, two, the American, Derek Devon, should do well. It's from the country that gave birth to flipping the finger. 38 years old. And Bjornsson, who seems to have found his inner showman today. I'm used to seeing him in a lot calmer. Ready? I think he's trying to send out a message, not just to the rest of his group, but actually to... The other heats, Brian Shaw, yeah, they're all watching on here. And he wants to mince these to show his immense power off. And his height, I mean, what, six foot nine and fast. Yeah, over six nine in the morning, about six eight by the evening. He's that heavy. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> what? He loses, he loses height during the day. He's so heavy. So he was telling me. Anyway, up to the uh, fifth and finally he's fit. Well, I think he feels pretty confident about this. He's unstoppable at the moment. Oh, look at the boogie. I'm saying nothing. Now, Devon, has he got it in him? Lost his momentum. Yeah, that's exactly right, Danny. Once that goes, and look, the energy sapped out of him as well. Well, he's disappointed. The winner of the single finger for this guy. Bjornsson takes it. And I think he may have been at the special brew. <laughs> the Bjornsson boogie. It could catch on. There we go. Number five. Wasn't the quickest of times, but it was easy. And there's his slow dance. Congratulations. What an incredible, incredible time. But were you worried with all of the other tall guys in this group that you might be in trouble? I'm very confident this year. I've been training hard. I know what shape I am in. You know, I'm, I'm here to do my best. And I know I've been putting my work in. And I know I've been 100%. So this year should be very good for me. I was just going to ask that, because with back-to-back -back wins, do you think that this could be the year that you actually take home World's Strongest Man? I've been training with every day in my mind that I'm holding a trophy, so I'm, I've been going through this many times in my head, and I want that title very bad. So you visualise the win. Well, listen, best of luck and congratulations again. Thank you very much. So, Terry Holland's fourth once again behind Janashia and the two men who got all five fingers, Johnny Hansen and Hapthor Bjornsson, who again takes maximum points. And those back-to-back -back wins mean Hapthor is already sitting pretty at the top with 12 points. Derek Devon in the other qualifying place, three points clear of Holland's. His comeback business then proving harder than expected for Terry after 12 months off. I retired from strongman, wanted to just concentrate on life back home. It's a hell of a lot of effort mentally to literally just dedicate your life to something to the point where everything gets put on hold. The break's really done me a lot of good. You know, I just missed it. I miss competing in World's Strongest Man. I absolutely love being here. I love being part of it. Whether I'm at my absolute strongest I've ever been, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll find out. 
Well, next up for Terry, it's the keg toss, one of the most technical challenges here in Botswana. It's a favourite of Hapdor's, though, this one, so will he make it three wins from three? Over to Colin and Danny to find out. Thanks, James. So this is a rising bar event. The keg weighs 15 kg. We're starting it at five and a half metres. You get three goes. Sort of winner stays on, really. Who can throw it highest? Well, Devon managed five and a half, but was eliminated from the event at six. Similar story with Wolf. He managed 6.5, but couldn't manage 6.75. So now we join the Georgian, Janashia. First man to attempt seven meters in this event. Well, Terry Hollands is watching on in interest. Of course, he'll be going soon. Just getting over 6.75. Now, this is just 10 centimeters off the world record. But it is the group of giants. And the world record holder is still in this contest. Absolutely. Hafthor Bjornsson holds the world record for this at 7.1 meters. Janashia eliminated. I think that was record for distance. He <laughs> almost hit the boarding there. Well, that's a case of getting your trajectory all wrong. Just went well under the bar, but actually plenty of power. And this is, you know, a deceptively tiring event. It is, yes. It's only uh, so many times you can be fully explosive. It's an all-body event. And that energy system only lasts a few seconds. It takes a long time to recover. Hollands moves on to his second keg. This is a huge height, seven meters. Oh, he barely swung that between his legs. He's just snatching at it a bit, Danny. He's got to relax. You know, it's like throwing a punch. If you, if you throw it from a yard away, instead of two inches, you've got time to build up speed. Doesn't oh. manage it. Shrug of the shoulders, gave it his best shot, managed 6.75, but he too eliminated from this event. That was a really good last effort from Hollands. He just relaxed into it, got a much longer pull, and it accelerated. Just didn't quite get the trajectory right. So have we hit a wall? A seven meter wall. Begin. World records at 7 1. Well, Hansen had a crack at the world record in the Sweden Giants live, as did Bjornsson. He just missed it that day. Close, but not close enough. Of course, we are 10 centimeters off the world record. Let's uh, just say that again. This is 7 meters, though. That is 15 kilograms. It's full of sand. Hence the reason he's patting it down. He doesn't want the uh, sand to be in the wrong position as he swings it. Here we go. Please show your appreciation for Hansen. Well, Hansen is out. That is 6.75. Co-leader. We see him pull again. He sort of went off to the left there. He's tiring, obviously. Favoured one side of his body. And we have one man left. <laughs> the record holder. And, uh, at 6-9, it looks like he's halfway there already. <laughs> it's, a, it's almost an unfair advantage. You can't coach height, as one great basketball coach once said. And it certainly helps here. Here we go. Oh, look at that. First time. No problem. How far did that go over? Surely he's going to go for the world record now. It'd be great if he did. Let's have a look again. What's your guess, Danny? Seven and a half meters he's worth? Maybe eight? Look at this. Hit that tiny bird. <laughs> Just... 
Well, he's decided to go for it. He's going for his own world record. This time it'll be 7.15. Yeah! This will send a message, won't it, to the likes of Brian Shaw? Well, Brian Shaw's group, that's uh, a group that's still One to go. Begins! And, of course, there's a lot of history between him and Brian Shaw. This isn't just about beating his fellow athletes in the heat. This is about saying, hey, Brian Shaw, I'm ready for the final. I'm coming for you. Or not, if he misses it. Let's have a look. Is it a new world record? Yes, it is a new world record for Hafthor Julius Bjornsson, 7.15. If you ever thought the mountain in Game of Thrones was computer generated, he isn't. That's him. <laughs> it really is. He's massive and massively powerful. Congratulations. Hope there's no one underneath that. And the world record holder himself is talking with Sarah Jane Crawford. First of all, congratulations. Yes, the world record. How do you feel for the cake toss? I feel great. It was a good event for me. Three wins. I'm happy. I'm leading with good points right now. Going into the deadlift means I can save some energy. So I'll be as fresh as possible in the finals. Now let's think about the reigning champion for a minute. Do you think that Brian can actually beat your world record that you set today? He might. He's in good shape, you know. Uh, but... Everyone knows that I could do a lot higher. This is true. Well, listen, congratulations. Well done again. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, while Bjornsson bags a new world record and another six points, it's much better this time from Terry Hollands, sharing second place there with Hansen and Janashia. And that moves Terry up after his terrible start to third place overall. He's still three points off the top two and still accompanied by the giant Georgian Constantine Janashia. What a battle this is shaping up to be. Can Hollands prevail? Well, the next event may help some, because on the way it's one of Terry's favourites, the deadlift. Last time out, it proved crucial in Heat 2. Will it be last chance saloon for someone in this group too? That's next on World's Strongest Man. Welcome back everyone to the Commerce World's Strongest Man in Botswana. We're midway through Heat 3, which has been very exciting so far. The big story coming in, our former Channel 5 colleague Terry Hollands, of course, swapping his presenter's mic for a role among the strongmen. Kind of makes the fellow think. Uh, Terry, though, didn't get off to the best of starts at Event 1, only fourth in the loading race, which Hapthorpe Bjornsson won. Yay! Event 2, Fingles Fingers, and once again, a slip from the big man from Dartford, and once again, an event win for Bjornsson. Event 3 then, the keg toss for height, Bjornsson didn't just win, he actually set a new world record while doing so. While behind him, Terry got his comeback quietly underway, placing second alongside Janashia and John Hansen. So with three events to go, Terry now lies third, three points off a qualifying spot. With that in mind, let's rejoin Sarah Jane Crawford at the deadlift. Thanks so much, James. Up next is the deadlift. Our athletes have to lift a car as many times as possible, and it weighs 363 kilograms. Magnus, very, very tough heat. Who has got the edge? Well, we got three really, really strong deadlifters here. We got Thor, we got Constantine, and we got Terry Hollands. So it's going to be between those guys, and I think Thor might want to save his energy for the final. Is that what you would do? That's what I would do. Okay, and also this is like a very alpha male event, right? Well, this is basically the ultimate test of raw strength and power. Cannot wait to see it in action. The deadlift is up next, but first of all, be it maximum weight or repetitions, the deadlift has had some memorable moments. Let's relive them. Shot. Come on, guys. Come on, guys.
So the deadlift. Let's lift some cars just as we all always do. 60 seconds. To do it as many times as possible. This car weighs 363 kilograms, as Sarah Jane said. Well, Wolf had a go. And so did Devon. He managed four to Wolf's five. Please welcome from Georgia, Constantine. Up now, though, Janashia. Yeah! Representing Great Britain, Terry Holland. Up against Britain's own Terry Holland from Dartford. Both men very good at this. Five to beat. This is exactly when we find out what kind of shape Terry Hollands is in. He's always been a tremendous deadlifter, but has he got the stamina to make it happen in the rep events? Janashia very confident. But Wolfman's five certainly been beaten by both. Janashia rep ahead here. So Hollands keeps looking over at Janashia. Do you notice that? Yes, he is. Yeah, 24 seconds to go. I think Hollands probably wishes this was heavier and shorter in terms of time because Janashia looks the fitter of the two right now. This really is a duel. Janashia trying it up. No. 10. That'll do. One more shot from Hollands. Does he have it in him? He has. He's got, is he going for it? He's shaky. Something's up. He's not feeling too well. With ten repetitions from Georgia. Well, ten reps for the Georgian. Yeah. Well, Holland's suffering a little. He's taking on board a little oxygen there. Trying to recover. It's it's a horrible heart event. This. And Hollands, well, he may Ladies well outlift Janashia for one rep, but Iceland. that's not the test, is it? Bjornsson! Bjornsson up next. Turning into a showman. And Hansen, the Swede. Sweden. He is Johnny second Hansen. overall at the moment. This is a great chance for him to prove himself and push ahead. Oh, are you ready? Yes. Ready! Oh, I'll say one thing. Bjornsson's personal best, 450 kilos for a single. Hansen's 350, so if he gets this for one, he's done well. And he has done. That actually could be important. If you get zero reps, you get zero points. So he's got himself off the mark, Hansen. Six reps for Bjornsson. <laughs> Is it a boogie and back in, or has he had enough? Something, something's happened to Bjornsson. He's been watching Glee or something. <laughs> I think he's gunning for the finals. He's saving his energy. It's not good news for Hansen, though. From Sweden. I mean, he was second place overall. That will, that will cost him. Just how much? We'll have to find out in a second or two. Now let's have a look at Bjornsson again. Almost 200 kilos of body weight. He leans back. That already helps him pull. And all that power at his disposal. So, no maximum points for Terry Hollands, beaten by Janashia's remarkable 10 reps. But better news came with Johnny Hansen's two rep disaster, which sees him trailing in last place. And that means that overall, the Swede plummets down to fourth spot. Janashia, one point ahead of Hollands, meanwhile, moving into second. Up top, the big Icelander in first place is looking untouchable. Could this be his year? This Icelandic giant goes by many names. The Mountain, Thor. But as epic as these sound, he has not yet been called the world's strongest man. Last few years, been at the podium. Third place, second place, and then third. Now I feel like this is my year. I'm training hard, I'm confident, I feel good about the events. Uh, I'm ready to take the title back home. To many, Bjornsson is the people's champion. He has become the poster boy of strength athletics. He is the protagonist, the good guy, the one many want to win. 
But will he get stage fright? Or will he put in a performance of a lifetime, one that is worthy of the ultimate award, the title he has dreamed of? I'm happy with the things, how, how things are going. I'm doing a lot of great things in my life right now. I'm a busy man, traveling a lot, getting a lot of opportunities. I'm obviously training and eating and, and, and being the best I can in my sport is number one. But obviously I, 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 I want to do the things uh, as well, like doing the Game of Thrones. It's one of the highlights, you know, it's, it's doing a great things for me. The time has come for Beyonce to forget about the margins, points and missed opportunities of the past and to look to the here and now and to focus on the title in Botswana. Anyone steal top spot from Thor? Well, Event 5 promises to be a real hold-up. Reach for the skies, it's the Dumbbell Press. Here's Colin and Danny. Thanks very much, James. So, the Dumbbell Press. 75 seconds, weighs 100 kg. You can use both hands to get it up to your shoulders, but then after that, it's all about one arm locking out above your head. Well, Devon managed four reps. Wolf equaled that. Neither. Drop one on their foot. Ladies There's another skill you have to learn. Terry Holland. And Terry Hollands. He's always been the leading Brit. Whenever he's made it Gandhi. through to the finals. Janashia from Georgia. Currently in second place. And really, with that history, I mean, Holland's anything less than that will be hard for him to swallow. Well, he wasn't quite sure where he was at in this comeback. We're about to find out. Oh, goodness me. Struggling there. Oh, he's going to have to swap arms, perhaps. Luckily, Terry's fairly ambidextrous at this uh, event. He got away with that. <laughs> Thank you. I was worried you were going to say amphibious. But there it goes, another one. So look, he's not going anywhere near as quickly as he would like to go. No, and Janashia, yeah. one ahead, goodness me, it's uh, flashbacks to the deadlift. Did not lock out there. Well, Janashia, four reps to beat, he's got it. Yes, equal first with the pair of men that went first. Uh, Bill Kazmar shouting in the background, do it! Feels a part of the furniture, Terry Hollands, and it's uh, almost a bit stunning, really, not to see him dominating in the heat. Well, five reps now for Janashia. Is Hollands beaten? Well, at best, one more. Well, his ambidextrousness. Not helping there. With three repetitions, give it up for Terry Hollands. Yeah. Uh, no ambiguity in his look there. He's not happy. Has your dictionary only got the A section? Janashia, five reps. So he is the leader of the dumbbell press. I think five reps was all he was worth. I don't think he was just doing enough there, especially with Bjornsson still to come. But a good effort. Please welcome from Iceland. And here he is. Hafthor Bjornsson. Yeah. yeah. Representing Sweden, Johnny Hansen. So Hansen slipped down to fourth place after the last event. Psychologically, that's going to have some impact. Though, of course, in the Atlas Stones, it is double points. Five to beat. No problem. One of the most impressive things about Hap Thor is his fitness. Ah, Hansen didn't quite lock that out. The elbow still a little bent, so he didn't get the rep. But, you know, this is a giant 400 pound plus man in 100 degree weather, and he still never seems to be really out of breath, does he? Most impressive. Well, Bjornsson having no trouble, but Hansen, well, in a battle with himself. Oof. Hansen 
really just for himself needs to get this up no you know there was a look just before he started there Hanson it's just had a look of someone who, who was struggling in the heat and you really have to take that into consideration he had such a, a strong start Hanson today's events and it's just been crumbling and the fact that the crowd now are cheering for Bjornsson looks to have broken him six reps that's all Bjornsson needed that's all he'll do surely Zumba meaning lion that's what they call him either that or they've started requesting dance styles from him but look at the power here explosive doing just enough to win showing his dominance Abthor giving his chances a further lift there with his fourth win in five events. Disaster for Terry Holland, his three reps beaten by Wolf, Devon and above all, Janashia. So with Hapthor now a towering seven points clear in first place and looking in phenomenal form, nine time finalist Terry slips to four points off the rookie Janashia in the second qualifying place. Well, Hakuna Matata and all that, but Terry Holland's now with some real worries if he's to keep his run of consecutive appearances in the finals going. Can he do it? Well, it all comes down, of course, to our final event, and they're putting it together for us right now. The Atlas Stones are next on World's Strongest Man. Welcome back, everyone, to Commerce, World's Strongest Man. All right, next up, Atlas Stones, Terry Holland. Terry, you haven't missed a final here since 2005. How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, obviously really nervous. Um, I've not performed particularly well all the way through the competition, so I really need a big performance here if I've got any chance of making the final. It's going to be really tough, but... You know, I'm just going to give it my best and, and keep my fingers crossed. But well, the good news is double points, of course, these days for Atlas Stones. You need to make two places up on Janashia. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just going to do my best. And um, I've just got to go out there, do a really good stone run and hope that someone gets in between us. Terry, best of luck. Thank you. So it really is all on the line for Terry Hollands. The crowd loves this event, wherever it takes place. The Atlas Stones. 60 seconds to lift five stones that vary in weight, they just get heavier and heavier onto those platforms. True show of strength. Devon and Wolf both managed three, but four athletes remain. From Great Britain, Terry Hollands. And here he is, Terry Hollands, third place after five events. Needs a bit of luck here as well. And the mighty Georgian. Second place overall. Well, the fact that this is double points could play into Terry's hands. In fact, he needs it. Could be a massive factor in this, but he's got to stay ahead of Janashia. That's the key. And he'll have to hope that one of the other two, still to come, get in between. Well, he's just throwing those stones onto those platforms, Hollands. Of course, it does get much heavier. Number four, a little... Uh, Gingerly now the big one. If he gets this, oh my goodness, Janashi has caught right up though. No, he's dropped it, leaving it clear for Hollands. He Come on, just Terry. needs to do this. No, there's still time. 15 seconds left on the clock. Janashi still has time as well. He's fit. This could go either way. You know, Hollands, he really wants this, he needs it. Running out of time, is he? No, there's no time now. No way. Just heard the countdown, didn't he? Three, two, one. Knew he couldn't do it. Seconds. Well, remember the times here, Danny. 25.36, four stones. Terry, 24, Not much in it. He needs one man to go between the two of them to go to the final. That's what it comes down to. So Holland still in with a shot, but it's reliant on other people. This guy being one of them. Hafthor Bjornsson! But what are the chances of this guy being anything other than I'm extremely fast? Johnny Hansen! And here he is, the newcomer to the competition, Hansen. Fourth place overall. He's a good stone lifter as well, Hansen. 
And of course, Bjornsson, Zumba, as the locals call him, likes to think of himself as king of the stones, the best stone lifter in the world, and the first two are just chucked up like they're nothing. He just looks like he's tidying up. Bizarre, isn't it? This does not look like much of an effort for him. <laughs> well, that's four and 18 seconds. Bjornsson is not going to get between them. He's going to win this. Easy. Incredible. What a performance. Keep your eyes well, <laughs> on Hansen. 32 seconds, folks. I'm afraid Holland's chances are over. He's well, Holland's not done it. Not going to the grand finals. Bjornsson, a shoe in. And Hansen yet to complete. Well, I haven't even done the maths. What if Hansen does all five? That's not going to happen now. Put, your pad, put your pad away, Colin. You won't need to. That's time up. With four stones in a time of 37.96 seconds from Sweden, Johnny Hansen. Well, he had to go under 26 seconds, but slower than 24 and a half. seconds from Iceland, Hafner Björnsson. Well, he's through. We'll see him again in the grand finals. Could this be his year, Danny? He looks immense there. Great effort from Hansen as well, it has to be said, in his first time in this competition. Over to Sarah Jane Crawford, who's going to talk to Bjornsson. Congratulations yet again. I feel like I keep saying that to you. And you didn't even have to do the five stones, but you did because you're the ultimate showman. How do you feel? I feel very good. It's a good practice for the finals. You know, we have the stones in the finals, so I want to go through, it, through them nicely. And uh, it's a good practice. And you need a new T-shirt now. That's true. Luckily, I have you. <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you very much. Hapthor here, the king of the stones and of heat three, with a phenomenal time. Terry's second place in this event, but crucially, Janashia third, earning the Georgian eight points, which means he's through to the final at his first attempt, and that Terry misses out by two points overall. Congratulations then to Bjornsson and Janashia, and look out to all the other finalists this year, because Bjornsson is going to take some stopping. Hmm, elephants. Well, that's all we've got time for, pretty much, from Botswana for now, but rest assured, we'll have more jumbo creatures for you to admire next time out, as we bring you the mighty men of Heat 4, all of whom will have a tusk in front of them, as they try and grab those two qualifying spots in the grand final against a field that includes Europe's strongest man, Lawrence Charlet. See you next time, then, on World's Strongest Man.